Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's Smile Maker video. You say, Tone, what's a Smile Maker video? How do you decide what's a Smile Maker? Well, this was what decides what's a Smile Maker. When you can't stop smiling when you look at the car like this and you think about whew, back in the 60s, like what was it like to this car is on the showroom floor? You walked on in and you said, wow, look at that thing, man. Because there was really nothing like it at its time, right? Nothing like these pony cars that came out and how good looking is the color combination of this car with the stripe at the bottom, the black interior and the black top and the black boots, those dual red line tires, correct red line tires, but there's a dual red lines, which is even more correct, right? Uh, for this year car, springtime yellow paint, beautiful in here. We're gonna see the quality of that on chrome stainless underneath the car, interior, all that good stuff. Uh, and we will walk around, we'll see the restoration and we're gonna just check out and figure a way to get it in your garage. All right, so uh, we started out the video talking about smiles and then I'm starting again talking about paint and I'm still smiling just because uh, I just love the color combination of these cars. So uh, we talked to me about all the authenticity of it, right? All new uh, emblems here, new bumper, new grill, new horse, new headlights, new wiring, like all of these things that make for a great restored car. And then I like to talk about the quality of paint. Why do we do a video on a car is really mostly for the paint itself because pictures with AI and all those things that are out there can be made to, be, to look anything that they want them to be. In this case here, we have live video, we're doing it here, and I'm gonna give you a little coaching on how to look at paint, right? Most people say, well, what do you mean look at paint? I'm looking at the paint, okay? Why you keep saying that? Well, I say that because I don't want you to look at the paint, I want you to look in the paint, I want you to see what's in the paint, meaning the ceiling lights, right? Uh, this piece of paper. Let's look at that and see how we can see the ceiling is clear. We can see all the ribs in the roof. We can see the beautiful LED lighting that we have here, right? And then we come on up here and you can read these letters nice and crisp. I ask Angie to come on up here and go ahead and like check this out for a second. You need to be able to read every letter nice and crisp, reading the whole sentence. The crisper the letter, right? The better the paint quality is because the light is reflecting off of it. It's not all blurry like what you hear uh, things called orange peel. This car here is beautifully shiny and looks great inside and outside. All right, so we have two kinds of people who buy cars here. For instance, we have people who just want a cool car, don't really care about what's underneath here in the trunk or whatever. They just want a cool car to drive and I love that, right? And then we have other people who want to go to a Cars and Coffee. They may might want to go to a car show. Uh, those love that too. This is exactly what you can do with that car. this car because it's been restored, like all this stuff's done. You would be proud uh, to open the hood here and see all of the detail, all the new like fittings and fuel pumps and wiring and the washer bag, uh, the decals, this has power brakes and all of the good stuff that's in here. This right here, don't minimize this being a six cylinder versus an eight. This six cylinder here has been modified. Uh, it makes great power and it also has a stainless exhaust, a dual exhaust all the way uh, down here. You need to see it, it's beautiful uh, and it's an expensive exhaust and it's also I know it sounds silly, but things like it has dual horns and you say, Tone, it has horns. Why would you spend 30 seconds talking about horns? Well, I want to tell you why. Because many a times the cars that we get here and the restoration and things like that, they have no horns at all on them, right? People are driving around with no horn. I don't understand. How can you drive a classic car and not have a horn on it knowing the people are staring at your car and they're like driving there into the side of it, right? Uh, in this case here, the shocks are a different color, right? The engine is a different color. The radiator, the horns, like all these different colors because it's not spray bombed black like an old car would be. This is a restored car and why it's so beautiful. Not to mention to work on it is ridiculously simple, like, right? Maybe you're not super mechanical, but in this case here, if you wanted to do a tune up, this right here is something that you could take on yourself. The plugs are right here. The wires are here. It's super simple to change a belt if you want to. Everything is so simple, right? and easy, which makes it such a great car compared to many other cars where you can't even see some of those spark plugs. All right, so a restoration uh, like this. Most six cylinders uh, don't have the dual exhaust, the GT style exhaust back here. And these people here added performance to this car, right? So you're getting great fuel economy to begin with, easy to work on, and you're getting kind of that GT look with the duals coming out uh, down here, the reverse lights here, new bumpers, new stainless, new uh, bezels, new lenses, new gas cap, new trunk bezel. And then the trunk itself is beautiful inside. It's got the correct tartan mat in here. It has a spare tire. And you say, Tom, 
why are you talking about spare tire? Well, because 99% of these cars never come with a spare tire. They don't come with anything, right? I don't know what people do sometimes, just riding around with nothing, but here we have all that stuff. It's in, right in the place that it's supposed to be. My point to the original thing was that if you wanted to go to a car show and open up this stuff here and show off your car, you could do that. If you just wanted to go for a drive, enjoy with some friends and family, uh, you can do that as well. And beautifully restored, beautifully done. And listen how nice that sounds. All right, so you're walking up to your car, you're smiling, you're going, man, what a great day it is. It's Friday. Uh, you said to the boss, hey, listen, if you don't mind, I'm going to check out a Ford today. And boom, you come on up and you go, this is going to be a great day. So when we get in this car, uh, before we get in this car, I want to talk about a lot of things here that we didn't discuss earlier. So some of those are things like the pony interior that's in here, right? I'm going to be sitting on it so you won't really be able to see it. This is an upgraded interior. The GT exhaust system, dual exhaust system upgrades. This wood wheel, the full gauges on the dash. This has an upgraded digital sound system in here. Looks kind of stock and original. However, it's a nice digital unit with four speakers inside here. So if you want to go to dinner with some friends, go with the kids, go somewhere else. I'd like to also point out too that the lighting in here is working. You say, well, Tone, why would you even talk about that? Isn't that uh, kind of mandatory? And I say, no, it's not mandatory. Nine times out of 10, none of this stuff works, right? And the fact is it does work. This is LED lighting too, so it's a little upgraded, so it's a little bit easier to see. I'm not suggesting that people like my age could use a little brighter at a restaurant or something, just throwing that out there. We also have this upgraded console in here. We have pony mats, right? And we have just a beautifully restored car down to the visors and new mirrors and the glove box trim, seat belts, door sill plates. I bring all that stuff up because it's expensive, right? And this upgraded interior, the Pony interior, gives you a much nicer car. It's a premium interior. That's the difference between, say, a Mustang and a Mustang premium, right? Giving you all of this nice stuff in here. And imagine going to dinner, people jump in, uh, and we go uh, with the kids, or we go with another couple or something like that. And it's really a game changer. I have to tell you, it's a lot of fun. I'm smiling because I do this all the time, and I can just tell you, you'd have a great time. All right, so we close up the video. I like to run down just a lot of the stuff on this car because don't minimize the effort that went into here. First off, we have a beautiful restoration. That was many tens and tens of thousands of dollars to get a car done like this. Plus, it has a lot of upgraded stuff, right? The tires alone are $1,500 for a set of bias ply, period correct, double red line tires. That's a lot of money, right? This has the engine dressed up in here, the dual GT exhaust, another $2,500 by the time you buy all the polished parts get the balance panel, paint the balance panel, buy the tips, have the thing made, do all that stuff, right? The pony interior, the wood wheel, the full gauges, the upgraded digital sound system. It's really an amazing, amazing car, especially for the money. It is an awesome, awesome buy and a beautiful restoration. And more importantly, a beautiful driving car. Anyway, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this cool 66 Mustang convertible. If you don't mind, uh, hit the like button down below. It helps us get the message out. And I really appreciate that share it with your friends. They might like uh, to see some of the things that we do as well here. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We got new content coming out all the time and I will see you on the test drive. I love to make the sound of these cars. I'll tell you why. First off, this six cylinder car sometimes get a bad rap for not having enough power. That is definitely not the case here and not a great sound. Definitely not the case here. But more importantly, six cylinder cars a lot of times are better cars than V8 cars. Why? Because they weren't driven hard. They were nicely enjoyed and loved. And then here you add a little more power and it makes for. That GT kind of exhaust coming out the back, very nice.